Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the Friends 2.0 plugin onto your Minecraft server. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is go to the control panel for your server and ensure that you're running Spigot already as this plugin runs on Spigot. So once you've done that, go to the plugins tab on the left hand side click the spigot plugins tab here and then search for friends 2.0 with no spaces and then click install latest on the latest version and then restart your server to activate the plugin so now that it's installed we can join our server and take a look at some of the commands which are in game So I've now joined my server for the first time with friends installed and when this happens you'll be given your head in the player chat. So I've joined my server for the first time with friends installed and as you can see in the action bar or the hot bar below I've got my head in the um, inventory slots. So if I just right click this it brings up a really nice GUI for the friends plugin. So this is really simple it, sh it would show your friends here if you've got any added um, and you've got any current requests, blocked players and then options and you can turn off things here but you can also do this with commands um, so let's just take a look at the commands quickly so if you type slash f help this will list the first page of, um, first page of commands um, and then it's got another two pages as well so there are all the commands which are available for the plugin really simple um, one command which you might use if you're an administrator is the spy chat so if you have this activated let's just activate this it will allow you to see what all friends are typing on the server as friends can privately message each other. So that's a good way to moderate your server just in case anything's happening behind the scenes that you don't want to happen. So yeah, that's basically all the things you need to know about the friends in game. As you can see, all the commands are listed nicely and there aren't any really administrative commands apart from spy chat. So let's take a look at the configuration files for the plugin on our control panel. So on the control panel, if you go to the file manager tab on the left hand side, open the plugins folder and then the friends folder. And then here you've got different options and the first thing that we're going to take a look at is the config.yml file. So let's go into there and we're going to, going to run over this in a very basic overview as a lot of it is just enabling and disabling things. Um, but again, we're just going to go over it very basic to keep this tutorial nice and short. So if we just go back up to the top and you can see here the first thing that you'll want to edit is the prefix. So by default it says friends. So if we just take a look in the Minecraft game, you can see here in the chat the prefix is set to a yellow friends with a little line there. So then if we go back to the control panel, we can change this to be whatever else we wanted it to be. So let's say I wanted it to be um, YouTube craft friends in brackets and then I'd remove the line. And I think that looks looks a lot smarter, so that's how I'm going to have mine. But you can edit it to whatever you want it to be. And I'm going to change the color code too, so let's change it to and a instead. So that's how you edit the prefix. Below this is the friend chat, and again you can just enable or disable this. And then it's got the code. So when a player has friends and they want to chat to just their friends, they could type at friends and then type the message they want to send, and it will send that message to all of their friends. So you could change this to be whatever you wanted it to be. So say if I wanted it to be um, dash friends instead, they would then type dash friends and then send the message which would go to all the players in the friends rather than typing at which is the original one. So you could also change the name of this. So say if I wanted it to be um, YTCF, so standing for YouTube Craft Friends, um, they could type this instead and then that would send it all to their friends. So we'll demonstrate this in game after we've gone through and changed a few more settings and um, so you can understand how it works a bit better. So below this is spy chat so again we covered this in game this will allow admins to see all the um, friends messages that are going on between specific friends and so on um, and you could just globally disable this um, and then if you want people to have this permission you just give them it here which is friends.commands.spychat and you can change the format for it so when you might want to change it to YTCF so in my case YouTube craft friends um, spy chat so the admins know this is from the spy chat um, and then it's got the placeholder for the player that's sending the message and then it's got the message here 
Um, so below this, you can enable disable bungee cord. Um, so I don't have bungee cord enabled at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it as false. Um, but below this, you can change the message that's displayed. So it will also display the server which the message is coming from. So as you can see here, it's got a placeholder for the server name, um, which you can also add or remove. Um, and again, you can change the, the color of the message and whatever the message displays as well. So say I wanted it to be that, and then I wanted it to be um, YTC YouTube Craft Server. I could have that instead. And then again, you can go ahead down here and enable and disable things. You can set the limit for friends, so they can only have a certain amount of friends. So say if you only wanted them to have, um, I don't know, 50 friends, they couldn't have any more than 50 friends now. Um, and then say if you've got some donors or donators and you want to give them more friends, you can give them this extra friend limit here, which is a really nice feature. Um, so if they've got friends or extra friends in the permissions file, you could give them an extra another 50 friends or maybe even another 100 friends that they could add. Um, and then next here is just a section where you can disable and enable things. Um, and it's got comments next to them, so I don't need to go over this as it's really simple. So then again, down here, it's got an option to um, show the, which world the player's in. Um, and again, this mode will only work without without bungee cord. So again, loads of these settings here just have comments above them, um, which you can refer to. So I don't need to go over most of these settings. Um, so we'll just leave the rest of these and scroll down. So if we go to this GUI section here, so this is quite an interesting section. So if we go back in game and then we right click on this player head, you can see this is the GUI, so you can change things in here, such as the items which are displaying. You can change the title up here. So if we just go back to the control panel, um, so the current request, which was the diamond, um, is currently an emerald or an emerald, yeah, not a diamond. Um, I've changed this to 364, which I believe is a clock off the top of my head. Um, and I'm going to change it from current requests to, um, let's say, pending requests as that's also a similar naming for it. But again, you could change this to whatever you wanted it to be. Change the color code too. So say I wanted it to be and eight instead, I could do that. And then again, it's got um, a law for it. So that's the message that's displayed when you hover over the item. It's got the slot that it's in. So it's currently in slot 46. Uh, if I wanted it to be at the top, I could change it to slot zero, I believe it is. Um, and so on. So you've got loads of other settings for each item here and you can change all the settings for them as well. So then again, it's got more GUI settings for the different pages um, and so on. So now if we continue scrolling down a bit further. So the friends plugin has a jump option where you can TP or jump to friends with the command slash jump friends, I believe it is. Um, and you can disable for it on different servers here. So if you've got bungee cord enabled, you could disable jumping um, from, let's say, your faction server to your kit PVP server um, by just putting the kit pvp server in here and then they can no longer jump to players which are on a kit pvp server so that they can't join in on a current pvp battle or something like that that's the idea for this i believe and then here you can um enable this setting which allows players to jump in certain worlds um so yeah that, that's basically all the settings that you need to know for the plugin and again if you're confused of anything just read the comments that are above it as all these settings have really nice comments which help you understand what's going on um, as you can see here, it's got different notes and so on, which you can refer to. All the comments have a hashtag at the front, um, as they do with all YML files. And if you can't figure it out after that, just contact our support on our website. Um, and yeah, so let's take a look at another file. And we're going to save this to make sure we've saved any changes. So then let's take a look, quick look at the messages.yml file. So this is where you can change all the messages for each command or so on. So when a player doesn't have access to a permission um, for a command, um, you could change this message here for no perm to ANSI. Um, so it's going to display in red. Um, you can't type that. So that would be displayed instead. And you could do this for all of these messages for the plugin. And it's really customizable, which is great. So once you've made any changes, click save again. And then it's got the mysql.yml file here. So this is only really relevant if you've got a MySQL database um, and if you're running a bungee cord network. So if you're not running a bungee cord network, just ignore this. But if you are, um, you'll need to connect this to your MySQL database so that all the friends on your servers are all stored for each player so that they have the same friends on each server. So just enter the details here and then save it. And then we can restart our server now as we've changed all the files which we need to 
um, for the plugin. So we're going to restart it and then we'll take a, a quick look at some of the changes in game. So I've now joined my server. So if we just take a look at some of the things that I changed. So if I type slash F help, you can see the prefix for the friends has changed um, from an orange friends to a green YouTube craft friends, which I changed it to. And I also changed the friends message. So I'd, instead of typing at friends and then your message here, I've changed it to dash YTCF, which stands for YouTube craft friends. And then they type the message. So, hey guys, how are you doing? And then send that and then that would send it in a message to all of my friends that I've got added. So yeah, it's really simple to do and you can see it's made all the changes here. And if you have any problems, again, just contact our support. Um, and also, if you've got a chance, just take a look at our Twitter down below. We do some giveaways for credits, so you've got a chance to win a free server for a couple of months. Um, and we also post really nice updates on there, and we respond to all your messages and so on. Um, and feel free to comment down below with any suggestions you have for future tutorials. Um, and I always try to reply to each and every comment as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. We really appreciate your support, and have a great day.